I've been with you for years and years. People like Abbas Mbinde, a journalist from Uganda who founded the Media Challenge Initiative to help other young people get the training they need to tell the stories that the world needs to know. The Media Challenge Initiative is a youth-driven non-profit building the next generation of young journalists in Africa through mentorship, training, and experiential peer-to-peer -peer learning. We believe that good journalism can make the world a better place. We believe that the next generation of journalists is very essential in defining the future world through the stories they tell and how they tell them. Auma says coloring during therapy creates a safe space for her to express painful feelings from her past, which also engages part of her brain to process the trauma in a better way. Olivia Komgisha, BDBD, Yumbe District. I met the people behind the media challenge in, they say nine years ago. I can't even remember the year. It was quite some time back, but there were, I think three or four young gentlemen who came to me with a lady and they came with the idea. And I believed in them at that time, and I know they did not even have the money. But what gave me uh, the impetus to go ahead was the hope in their faces. And the fact that the, they, they, they looked at me with so much promise. And I believed at that point that this was it. This is what Uganda needed. Uh, and these young men were very interesting. And, and they, they, one, they were trying to, uh, you know, identify people within universities that had a skill that was employable or that um, different media houses would be interested in. Uh, but secondly, they were trying to change the way journalism was in this country because a lot of our journalism is theoretical. And so you don't have a lot of practical uh, work done at the universities, uh, which the field demands. And so for me, uh, this was a fantastic idea. And at, at that time, we may not have had the resources uh, at my previous employment, to support the initiative, which is one thing they also needed, but we provided an opportunity for them to use the resources we had, the physical resources like equipment, to be able to participate in the challenge. The 25th of October 2014, and thanks for watching Uncut Television. I am Felicity Mandela. And I'm Michael Ojula. As we bring you fresh stories and so much more, but first, the headlines. When Media Challenge started, it was Amofas. It was not shaped. Even we, the judges, did not quite understand where it was heading. Personally, I worked with the Media Challenge Initiative in two capacities. One as a program manager at the Conrad Adenauer Stiftung, where I basically contributed towards shaping their programming and making sure that we get the best out of the programs. Uh, that they run, most specifically the Next Gen uh, Fellowship Program, but also having an engagement with university students who are getting trained in various aspects of uh, media, both digital and conventional. So seeing them and watching young journalists pass through their MCI's programs and reach the apex of you know, professional journalism practice gives me joy, it gladdens uh, my heart. But also, I've worked uh, with Media Challenge Initiative as the co-founder of Rise Up, uh, a program that I co-founded and ran with urban refugees. So the first time that uh, I actually heard about Abbas and MCI was in 2017, through an article in the Huffington Post which introduced the work of MCI and we got really, really curious. I remember that I was talking to my colleague in Germany and we really liked what uh, we read about MCI, so we decided that we would like to get to know Abbas and the team. And then Abbas and I met in our office uh, and he introduced us to the whole cycle of the Inter-University Media Challenge and also the fellowship program and we really felt we have a lot in common um, when it comes to goals and vision um, and also the way how we implement. Um, maybe a bit of background on DW Academy so that you know where we come from. We are part of DW, the international broadcaster, Deutsche Welle, and we are the center of international media development, of uh, journalism, education, and also of uh, knowledge transfer uh, for DW, basically. So the way this came up, really, it was 
just how we were stuck in terms of getting internship in the media but also getting jobs in the media is one of those hardest things for any Ugandan aspiring journalism student. It started at school uh, where we, we sat. We said uh, we, we do mass communication and uh, the jobs are very hard to get, especially in our field, journalism. So we decided to start uh, a competition within our institution. But the whole idea is to try to help students penetrate the media. Not only penetrating the media, but giving them skills that they need to work in the media. By then we called it Bali Francis Media Challenge. My name is Bali Francis. I've been with you for years on end. In 2012, there came a child, or a, ch uh, a child called Bafranak or Bali Francis News Academy Competition, and I managed to participate in. Uh, the difference with the current uh, competition is then you, you report live from the scene and the event was at Nsambia Shani Hall. I first heard about the Media Challenge Initiative in 2012. At uh, that time there was a competition organized among our institutions of learning. Unfortunately we were not able to participate. We got the information late. So we followed up and then in 2013 we participated our very first time. I'm just thinking, if I were eligible to compete again, I would even come and take part. As I just like the media challenge competition. It was a very tasky moment because we did not jump to the final, to the final uh, to the final scene at the president's office, but it started way back at school. The, the, there was always a cultural gala where almost all talents were, were discovered and were promoted and were given that go ahead. So um, naturally, I, I, I think I have more strength in writing than anything. So I participated in writing and I, I got a certificate from campus. Different institutions have different curriculums and from the media challenge we merge uh, the different schools, you'd see how an institution like UMCAT handles their journalism and you'd juxtaposition it to the way Makere handles and you'd pick out a few and see where it could better. Because every other point after that, anything that seemed to be uh, somewhat impossible and all of that, you know, I, I reminded myself and said, you know what, uh, I held an, an anchoring award and yet I didn't even ever think that I would be. I was in uh the second media challenge in 2013, uh, which we won overwhelmingly. I can still say by my words, I can still stand by my words that there is not any other team that has won like we did in 2013. I have seen and I have even worked with people who have come from the media challenge. These are young people with different ideas, people who can actually mentor you as an older person. So I think the Media Challenge is doing good in nurturing talent. And we're not actually just talking about talent, but we're talking about new talent, a new kind of media in Uganda. Uh, there's, there's a lot of, they do a lot of multimedia, they do a lot of digital, they do a lot of TV, you know, with so many different aspects to this whole thing. Not things that we, who have been in the media for over 20 years, actually know. I just want to encourage the team at the helm of Media Challenge Initiative. You're really, really doing a great job. You're really, really doing great. You've exploited those spaces that probably for us were not, we didn't have the opportunity to. And you are supporting all these people. So many students out there, wherever they go, not only in journalism, sometimes it's communication, sometimes it's entrepreneurship, and they're doing great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for singling me out of the many senior editors that we have on the platform. And I'm glad to be part of the team. The Media Challenge has now evolved from just a competition of you know, teaching institutes and you know, teaching universities, journalism teaching uh, universities and institutes, to a hub where journalists can actually go and you know train, practice, you know meet friends, 
socialize, uh, be inspired, meet some of their uh, inspirations or you know, you'd call them, you know, get career guidance for example. So it's no longer just a competition that you'd come compete, get an award and then go home and sleep, no. Come compete, get an award, perform well and go to the hub, get knowledge, get experience, get expertise and go out in the field and work. That is what the media challenge is now. Welcome to the new home of journalism.